Hello friends, today we are going to see how to draw a forward reverse status control diagram in a very very easy method. This lesson is very useful to those who are working industrial and uh, engineers as well as technician and also as electrical engineering students. This video have step by step making procedure how to draw a drawing and how to make it preparing. Let's go. First of all, before starting the drawing, we need to think about that materials required. What are the components required? We need to prepare a list. List of required components. Here we I have given here the material required list. Contacted two numbers, overload relay, one number, on push button, off push button, each one number. Next step we need to do list out the logics using in the drawing what are the logics we have we have to going to use then list out here we using two types of logics hold on or latching logics next one is interlock logics the hold on logics is commonly used in dual starters diagram next logics is interlock interlock means at a time only one conductor need to pick up means if forward is uh, working at the time, reverse is not allowed to working. This is called interlock logics. So friends, let's start uh, drawing how to draw a forward reverse starter. The initial we need to draw a source line, supply line, phase neutral. This phase and neutral coming from control MCV or control fuses. Here uh, I not mentioned, kindly notice that. Next step, that overload relays NC 9596. This is NC is used for overload tripping. If the motor gets overload, that uh, overload got tripped so that 9596 NC comes to NO so that uh, that circuit is protected. Next, we need to draw off push button, and in, th in this off push button, series with that overload release NC. Next, we are going to draw contactors, both contactors forward and reverse with interlock. First we are going to draw forward conductor, I named here Q20, A2 is connected to neutral, the A1, A1 will be connect later. Next we need going to draw reverse conductor, I named here Q21, this similar to Q20, the A2 is connected to neutral. Next we are started to draw interlock, this is the interlock logics, I before I told to you. Please listen carefully. The Q20 is A1. Conductor coil terminal A1 is connected through Q21's auxiliary contact NC. Kindly notice that the Q21 conductor auxiliary contact NC. Next, the another interlock. The Q21 conductor coil sub coil A1 terminal Q20 is NC connected with Q20 is NC. This is the interlock connected with both conductors forward and reverse the forward conductor connected with reverse conductor nc uh, then uh, reverse conductor connected with forward conductor auxiliary conduct nc now the interlock is fulfilled because forward conductors uh, got pick up the reverse is not allowed to pick up the reverse conductor pick up that forward is not allowed to pick up next we are going to draw forward push button this forward push button series with off push button and Q21 NC with that uh, forward conductor coil supply A1. Next we going to draw that hold on because uh, that uh, forward push button need the hold is momentary type. That means it uh, release the, if you release the button it automatically turns off. So we need that hold on. This hold on is Q20's NO. Q20 conductor forward conductors auxiliary contact 13 and 14. Next, we are going to draw reverse push button. This reverse push button is series with Q20's NC and uh, that uh, reverse conductor coil terminal A1. We need to connect the main phase. The off push button second terminal next uh, we are going to draw that uh, reverse push button hold on 
because this is also momentary type the reverse push button fold down and the reverse conductor q21 accelerator conduct in 13 and 14 this accelerator conduct is contact is directly parallel with reverse push button so friends the, di the diagram is finished thanks for watching this video if you like this video kindly share to your friends through facebook and whatsapp thanks for all thanks for support